Being fit and healthy will support you to have an uncomplicated birth and recovery after the birth of your baby. It's important to do gentle exercise right up to the end of your pregnancy if you feel able to. Things like yoga, going for regular short walks or swimming can be really beneficial because they help to get your baby in the right position ready for birth. Being upright is really important because it helps gravity get your baby into the best position. It's also good to eat healthily. Lots of vegetables, pasta and rice and dairy means you'll be in the best shape when it comes to birth. If you have diabetes in pregnancy, please speak to your doctor or midwife about the diet recommended for you. You could practice and try out different belt positions to help you figure out what feels comfortable. Try kneeling on all fours, leaning against a wall and stretching or using a bat ball. This will help you when you are in labor because you will already know what feels good for you. You could also try perineal massage. The perineum is the area between your vagina and your anus, which can sometimes tear during birth. After a bath or shower, use plain oil such as almond oil to massage your perineum. Put your thumb around two to four centimeters inside your vagina. Press down towards your perineum and gently massage in a rhythmic U-shaped movement. You should feel a stretching sensation, but it shouldn't be uncomfortable or painful. Colostrum harvesting is another technique which can help your body get ready for birth. Colostrum is your first bit of breast milk it's very concentrated, full of amazing antibodies, and it's the best thing to protect your baby from infection and boost the immunity system. You can start hand expressing for a few minutes once a day when you are around 36 weeks pregnant. You'll need a sterile syringe, as to begin with, you'll only collect a few drops, but over time, you'll produce more and more. Make yourself comfortable and relaxed. Try having a bath or shower first, as the warmth will help. Use your hand to cut one of your breasts and then with the other hand use your thumb and forefinger to gently squeeze. You should then repeat to create a rhythm. Collect the colostrum with the syringe drop by drop. You should then label the syringe with your name, date and time you expressed and then put it in the freezer. Bring the expressed colostrum to the hospital with you inside a freezer bag with ice packs and let your midwife know that you have it and they will put it in the freezer for you. Making a basic but flexible bus preferences plan can help you feel more confident. Firstly, where do you plan to give birth? Think about the type of support you want during the birth and who do you want to be there? Are you open to using pain relief? And if so, which types? Do you want to use water during birth? Of course, we know that birth is unpredictable, but it's important for your midwife and your care team to understand your preferences.